Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe the amount of support I got from the last vlog. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers and all my new viewers. I love you all so much. Today was laundry day and as you know from my last video, it is the bane of my existence. I hate laundry day, even if it's only one load, just putting it away, folding it is literally something I'd never wanna do. I'd rather take doing dishes for 10 hours than doing one hour of laundry, to be honest. I had a pretty laid back and chill morning this morning because I had a really long evening and afternoon of teaching dance classes. So I just did some light makeup, got ready. I almost didn't vlog this morning because my skin is breaking out and I was like, oh my gosh, people are gonna comment and notice that. But then I just let my ego get out of the way, just push it aside, said, you know what? I don't care. A spot is not gonna make or break my career and I shouldn't let this get in the way of my confidence. And I definitely shouldn't let it get in the way of doing what I love to do, which is vlogging. I kept this part in because people always ask how I do a winged eyeliner. Essentially, I take my bottom lash line and draw it up to my eyebrow, then I connect it from my pupil towards that corner and then obviously just put mascara on top and I get a lot of comments on TikTok and Instagram and in real life how to do winged eyeliner so that's essentially it. Hello my name is Jasmine McDonald welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel if you're new here I post ballet and fitness related videos every single Tuesday Thursday and now Sunday and if you're also new here you may as well hit subscribe. Today's video is just going to be a normal day in the life vlog style videos. I don't know why, but you guys love these videos and you guys like them the most out of all my videos, which is funny because when I started out this channel, it was a workout <laughs> channel because I was too shy to be on camera. But I think now that I'm more comfortable, I've developed a really close relationship with my audience. And if you're new here, again, I post ballet and fitness related videos. I'm a certified personal trainer, former professional ballerina, a dance coach online and in person. So tonight I'm going to the dance studio from four until 9.45. Um, I have a few classes online at noon at one pretty much so all of my day i'm working from noon onwards and this morning it's like 10 30 right now so i just did a little bit of light makeup um i got ready i'm gonna show you guys what we got at winners yesterday yes i'm still in pajamas it's like 10 30 i know but my mornings are my time to relax i don't have the evenings to relax because i work until 9 45 and get home at like 10 30 at night so i'm gonna show you guys what we got at winners yesterday yesterday was sunday and me and steven were volunteering out at the local town that we live nearby um our house is really close to this one town there was a volunteering opportunity to uh to pick up some garbage alongside the road so we did that and i need to show you guys a video because whilst we were doing that we saw these cute goats in the middle of the city which is oh <laughs> kind of crazy but really cute so as we were picking up garbage we took way too much time by the goats but that's because they were so cute um, and that was lots of fun. And yeah, it's just something nice to give back to the community. And it was also Earth Day on Friday, I believe. So it was just a nice coincidence that we were helping the environment and helping the community by picking up some garbage alongside the road. It's actually quite a bit. Like we found glass, we found a ton of like random little trash things like papers, some Lysol wipes, plastic. But after we went there, we went for lunch, we went to Winners and I'm gonna show you guys everything we got. So first of all, I got this Bite lip gloss and this was only $13. And I've never seen an applicator like this in Bite where you like twist the top of it and it comes out. At the top, I don't know how I'm supposed to keep it clean because I think it on the inside it has like a little pokey thing that goes right inside of it and clicks in to keep it from spilling out. But this is the one I'm wearing on right now. And what I love about Bite is how tasty <laughs> the lip glosses and the lip gloss, the lipsticks are. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys what else we got. So since Mother's Day is coming up, I got this for my mom. She really likes the Ray Dunn mug. She has a bazillion of them in her kitchen. You guys have probably seen in my older vlog. But yeah, I have a lot of, or she has a lot of these mugs and it's like this whole chocolate, goodness in the mug. So I got that for her for Valentine's Day. Mom, don't watch this part. Um, and then we got this big pan and it is hard nitro. I don't know how to say that cast iron skillet from Winners. And it was only $19.99. And we need one of these because we have a really big one, which again, you guys have probably seen in my blog in my vlogs in the past. We cook in and it's like twice the size, but we don't need one that size all the time. Like if we're doing eggs or vegetables or even pancakes. So this is actually really heavy, but since it's cast iron, we know it's going to be nice quality and I'll show the back of it if you want to pause and read about it. But it is rust resistant, chemical free, dry, heat resistant, long lasting. Really good size too. I was opting for the pink one, but since we saw this one, we were like, we'll get the really good quality one that'll last us for years. We got this, 
We also needed a watering can because we have so many plants that we water like constantly and I just carry around a little water bottle which is not ideal. Like I'm just filling up that water bottle like five or six times. And this is about say four water bottles full and it was only nine dollars and I think it looks really nice so we'll keep it in like the living room. It's not an eyesore <laughs> but it's also practical so we really like this one. And lastly we also got these. We don't have a pot. We have like a tiny little pot for pasta but we don't have a big pot like I was making chili the other night from chef's plate which I'll have for leftovers this lunchtime um, and I needed a big pot and I was using again yeah, that pan wok thing and that just didn't cut it so we needed one of these big pots and it's just a steel one it's six liters large and it was only $24.99 which was a fraction of the price of the ones that we saw um in other places so yeah those are all the things we got at winners I'm going to get chained and it's raining outside so I don't really want to walk to the post office but I also know I need to and I need to take Elsa for a walk I won't say that too loudly. So I'll probably go do that, come back. And since I have a lot of classes tonight, I'm just gonna stretch before my classes because I went for a run yesterday too. Yesterday was like 22 degrees, went for a run. We actually ran, me and Elsa, I'll put a screenshot here. We ran four kilometers. Now, we didn't run the whole time. I'm not gonna lie, we probably ran for 20 minutes and the rest of the time we walked at a very slow pace. And even the run was like a jog because I've been training on the treadmill lately for some time. Um, I felt actually pretty well conditioned because the treadmill that we have is actually on an incline. So it's way harder to run uphill. So when I was running on a flat plane, it felt so easy. I was like, oh my goodness, I didn't know my stamina was actually this good. So all these flex phase classes, all my running on the treadmill, and my biking and dancing and chasing after the little kids has really paid off. So yeah, I'm gonna go take Elsa for a walk and go to the post office and catch you guys before my next class. So I obviously had to get changed because I couldn't wear pajamas to the post office. Now the post office is only 15 minutes away, but it's still a good walk for Elsa, so it's a 30 minute walk. So we went there and then we got back and I had a little snack from Dose Juice. I had one of their apple cider shots as well as this banana and then got ready for a flex base class. That class was killer and I don't know what I did with the timing, but it went so fast by the time I was like a quarter of the way through the curriculum class. It was already 20 minutes left. So I was like, oh, I gotta hurry up. But now I feel nice and open and stretched out and warm and ready. So I'm gonna go have lunch and I have my next class at 1.30. These are just leftovers from the diner that we went to for lunch yesterday. And I know it's not a lot for lunch, but I only have 30 minutes and this is something that's going to sit well in my stomach. And then I'm gonna have a little bit more of a substantial lunch, like with some protein. I'm gonna have a juice right now with this too, which is tango from Dose. And then I'm gonna go to my next class, which is actually in 20 minutes now. I didn't really vlog that much this night because I can't vlog the students obviously at the dance studio but I got a bagel from Tim Hortons right after and it was so good. I got literally all the vegetables that they had and then I had some sorbet for something sweet after dinner and then went straight to bed. I was exhausted and this is the next day. Obviously made the bed, got ready, it was 7.41. I love using the Google Home in the morning to listen to the news, especially to catch up overnight. There's a lot going on in the world so I always like to stay as informed as I possibly can. And then after I make sure Elsa is fed, I make sure Luna has enough attention because she loves attention. I mean, look at her. She's an angel. You can have that. Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday morning and I have a bit of the morning off. I'm not feeling so hot. I don't feel sick. I just feel run down. Like my body is going to collapse. Like my head hurts and I think it's from the weather. And then my body hurts from the run two days ago because I went on a five kilometer run for the first time in like six months. But yeah, I don't feel super hot, so I'm gonna relax this morning. I'm gonna try out that new pan that we got at Winners yesterday and I'm gonna cook. I was gonna make like a sweet breakfast to get different breakfast snows. I'm gonna make the savory one that I usually do, but I'm gonna use the pan to cook it in because um, I wanna try out the new pan. Um, I'm gonna work on some thumbnails while I have my coffee right now. And yeah, I don't really have anything exciting. Last night at the studio was really fun because the kids are almost done their recital dances and I'm so excited for that. I'm gonna see if I can make you maybe vlog like the process of it and it's so much fun because I remember when I was that age and I did recitals and it was so much fun. You got to do your hair, your makeup, you got to wear a new costume and it's just fun. It's not like competition where you have to be perfect. Literally just for the end of the year like you still try your best to put on a show for your parents and your friends, family, but it's not as high stakes so it's really fun. Rude. Pooping my coffee. 
Can you guys tell how much Luna loves me? She is so clingy when I'm doing my thumbnail. She's either sitting between my lap or sitting right next to me. And today she was sitting across from me at the bed. You can see her little ear and tail poke out over there in the corner. And I don't know why, but this morning she was acting really funny. I mean, look at this clip. She started putting her leg up and then she just kind of went into attack mode and her eyes get really big. She looks like toothless. Oh my goodness, she's the cutest cat in the world. And anyways, then I had some breakfast, which was super delicious. I tried out the new pan from the other day that I showed you guys used some extra virgin olive oil fried up some tomatoes and that patty then I had this yogi juice which you can pause the video to read all the ingredients everything is organic from dose juice and I love having something on the go because a lot of the time I don't have that much time to meal prep so it's really nice to have these juices on the side just a little bit of light makeup earlier and made a little TikTok video doing my makeup I'm um, oops I'm actually covering for my colleague in two hours, so I'm just gonna do some invoices, draft up some invoices for some clients, and then I'm going to do a little bit of ballet because I'm pretty sore still this morning, and then I'm gonna get ready for that class, and then I have a break until five o'clock today, and I work from five until nine, which is kinda nice. So I have like most of the day to do what I want, so I think I might go for a walk, and oh, I don't wanna say that too loud because it also hurt me. And maybe I should go to the grocery store. I don't know. It's kind of far and I'm really lazy. Definitely went to the post office though. Okay. I made a mess, so I had to vacuum the bedroom, but I'm gonna do some ballet now. I'm gonna get changed, do my hair, get ready to do ballet. And then I think the afternoon, instead of going out to the grocery store, I really need to catch up on chores. And I know that's super boring, but again, you guys like my boring days and my vlog. So I'm gonna catch up on chores, do some vacuuming, clean up my makeup, cause it's a mess and yeah. Since graduating from ballet school, tights are the bane of my existence. So I always wear this Halara skirt or the one that I have from Ari. I don't even bother with tights at home. A, because I'm at home and nobody's watching me and B, they're just, I don't know, they're a pain. I wear them if I'm gonna take a video, like a TikTok. But even now, now that it's getting warmer, I'm like, Ooh. Nah, just wear a bare leg. Now guys, I deserve an award for this because it's not very often that I put on point shoes for bar, but I put on point shoes for an entire bar today. Woohoo! I literally never did that when I was younger. I never did that in the company because I hated doing bar with point shoes, but it's really healthy and good for your feet to strengthen them and get used to point shoes if you're a new dancer to point. So definitely practice bar and point shoes if your teacher lets you or ask them if you can because it makes a huge difference when you're a professional to get used to wearing point shoes all the time even just standing in them because they're so uncomfortable. And you'll see in a few clips that I do have to take off my shoes and tend to a blister because I've got to trim my toenails. And yeah, that was a mess. But anyways, enjoy these clips of me dancing until I get a blister. one of those ones because I didn't trim my toenails and it's digging into my skin and now there's a wound there. So I had to completely rewarm up a little bit. Luckily I didn't get too far into the bar before I had to take a quick break, tend to my blister because I'm an idiot and forgot to trim my toenails and take care of myself and do basic human things. But anyway, sorry guys, it's TMI, but I'm just being real here. So I've been loving doing bar in my free time and I've really been trying to still work on um, my technique and still work on things that I want to improve without putting so much pressure and stress on it, like just letting it happen without like forcing myself to get it in the first go. Also, um, <laughs> don't know what that was, but anyways, I'm going to elaborate in a second. What I mean by still keeping my goals without pushing myself is that there's a fine balance between pushing yourself to better yourself and driving yourself 
crazy. I feel like it's an artist syndrome or something. Like we get so intense with pushing ourselves to our absolute limit that we push ourselves past that because we don't know that fine balance. And then we hurt ourselves or we get burnt out or we just don't love or find passion in the work anymore. And I've just been taking it slow, still having my goals that are realistic, attainable, and actually have a specific date in mind. Like by the end of the summer, I wanna be able to do two variations without stopping in terms of my cardio, my stamina, and my strength and capabilities and dancing. And I also want to be able to be flat in my right and middle splits again because I've lost a little bit of flexibility in my right side. Guys, I feel so silly like this, but this is actually where I film my TikToks. I did this in my last vlog where I showed you guys kind of my setup. Right now I don't have the light on because I have really good natural light and I actually did the TikTok against this wall because it has a nice little pink aura from the shed outside that's bright red with the red roof and the sunlight shines on it and it makes this pretty pink tone in the background which kind of matches the leotard and the vibes. So <laughs> I filmed TikToks for the last 15 minutes just now and I have a class with flex space which I'm going to go get ready for because I can't wear a leotard and a tutu and point shoes for the class, so I'm going to get ready. I also filmed a bunch of TikToks where I was like balancing. And my balance was on point. I must say so myself, I'll put videos here, but like, they were very, very on balance today. Let's see if I can do it again. It was hairstyles as it was. In this life, it's just love. No, it's not the same. It's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same, Harry. In You know, it is not the same as it was. That was me trying to balance, guys. I was trying hard. This tutu I was hit questions on is custom made. We had to get it when we were in grade 10 at ballet school. And these point shoes are Gina Minden. The leotard is Yumiko. And the face is all mine. Sorry, that was a weird joke. Okay, I'm going to get ready for my classes, guys. Bye. You guys know how I like to format my classes, so I just laid down, rolled up my mat, did a few of the poses that I wanted to do at the end of the um, sequences, and figure out which muscles I had to warm them up with, and then, and then it was time to teach the class. The last class I just had was a back bending class, and we went into bridges, and it was so much fun. I feel super warm and ready, but like, it's also five hours before my next class, so I'm gonna go have lunch, maybe shower. While making lunch today, I was watching Selling Sunset, so if you hear that in the background, that is why. And oh my goodness, guys, have you been watching Selling Sunset? Comment down below who your favorite character is. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna root for the villains. I'm gonna root for Christine. She's my favorite. She carries the show on her two shoulders. Her diamond encrusted Chanel bag jacket shoulders. Oh my goodness, she is so iconic. We're very sad because it's cold out again, right? Can we just appreciate the packaging, guys? This is what Glizzer sent to me. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I already undid it for an unboxing haul that I have to do on my TikTok for Glizzer. And um, oh my goodness, this ring box is my new favorite thing. Guys, guys, I mean, so stunning. They also gifted me this um, mirror Hello, <laughs> hello. They get to me this mirror, which I didn't know that they were going to do. So that's really sweet. They also sent me this box. I believe these had a necklace and oh no, it had another ring, which I mean, come on, look at that detailing though. Oh my, my nails are disgusting, but wow. Oh my goodness, these rings are everything. I wanna put them back because I'm gonna do a whole video with these. And they also came with a cleaning cloth and the packaging again. Now I got two necklaces in this, Um, but oh my goodness. Guys, comment down below if Steven has to step up his game. The rest of the evening I taught until nine o'clock at night and here's a short clip of me teaching a combination in one of my classes this afternoon. I didn't film an outro because I was so exhausted. I did have dinner, Steven got back home from work and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know in the comments down below what you wanna see next. I really enjoyed doing these vlogs for you guys and I think it's um, a nice insight as to my very, very normal human <laughs> days. I find a lot of the time on social media we can compare ourselves to other people who seem to have it all or people who don't seem real. And just remember guys, social media is not real. So I hope these vlogs kind of remind you that like people have to work, people have to go to school, people have to study and people have to do dishes and people have to cook for themselves and do laundry and do those mundane things. But yeah, 
Again, I'm blabbing on, so I'm gonna have to start a podcast because all I wanna do is rest your day, stay safe, and bye now.